hello guys welcome back to my channel with a girl i'm Iji here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to join us so guys we're gonna be reacting to ricky gavia's defense his opinion on fat people Ooh. okay for that means for him to be defending that means they must have been a video that he spoke on fat people or maybe i guess his opinion was not accepted or maybe council culture tried to cancel them i don't know so far. let's check it out and see what this one's about guys I've been accused in the past of having a go at fat people. I've never had a go at fat people. I've only ever pointed out the scientific fact that you get fat, you put on weight, you put on a subcutical layer of fat if you take in more calories than you burn off. That's indisputable, okay? I don't judge them in any other aspect of their life, but they got fat because they took on more calories than they burn off, okay? And they knew that is what was happening. No one ever got fat behind their own back. No one ever went, oh, that what the is, fuck's that? <laughs> uh, no one's creeping in to thin people's apartments and injecting their lettuce with a million calories, okay? So they, they're doing it, they're doing it with their own free will and they know that's what's making them fat, okay? You see a fat person surrounded by puddings, right? You go up to him and go, Frank, you know what's making you fat? He doesn't go, is it all the running? He knows it's... <laughs> So all I'm saying is, you get fat if you eat too much and you know that's what's happening. But I don't judge them in any other aspect of their life. I don't make value judgments in any other corridors of their existence. If I see a fat person, I don't go, oh, he's fat, therefore he's probably jolly. <laughs> a lot of them are miserable. <laughs> if I see a fat girl, I don't go, oh, she'd be pretty if she lost weight. That's rarely the case, so don't... <laughs> A lot of them started eating because they had fuck all to lose, if I'm being... <laughs> I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs, so next time, buy two seats. <laughs> I, um, oh, oh. I'm joking, I'm joking. Ah. I've got, I haven't got a problem with fat people. I haven't, I, in fact, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> no, even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, I feel sorry for them, particularly women, because I think fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat and we go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, right? <laughs> we don't come under the same scrutiny of society as women, because they're inundated with how they should look, this size zero models and magazines with look like this and, and this diet, that diet, keep your man. And I think they make such an effort. You see fat girls, they make an effort. They've always got lovely hair, aren't they? They're always having their hair done. They've got, I always, you watch, they've always got lovely hair and lovely long nails. They make an effort. Anything but jogging, right? But, <laughs> They what? love high heels, don't they? Fat girls, they love high heels. They think it makes their legs look less... It doesn't. They, it... <laughs> <laughs> you can just hear them coming now. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the lino. Up and down the lawn, it's good for it. Go on, there you go. <laughs> but I'm not having a go. Um, I was into Radio 4 the other day, and there was a discussion about political correctness. My name came up straight away, as always, OK? And this woman was going, well, yeah, it's not right, you know, it's not clever. He makes fun of fat people, he makes jokes about fat people, and it's not right. I mean, he wouldn't make jokes about gay people, would he? And being fat is like being gay. What? No, it... <laughs> no it's not. You can't choose your sexuality. We've established you choose to be fat by eating it, right, okay? But when, with your sexuality, you're born, you grow up, you discover you like same-sex relationships, you move to Brighton, and, that, and that's it. You're gay. With being fat, you have to work... For being fat to be the same as being gay, you'd have to be born straight, grow up knowing you're straight, but gradually and consciously wean yourself on to cock. <laughs> I... Do you know what? It doesn't happen. Happy 16th birthday, son. This is Raoul, right? Suck his cock. <laughs> uh, I'm heterosexual father. Oh, with his newfangled words. Suck his cock. Come on. <laughs> I, I, I don't like cock. Doesn't like cock. How do you know if you've never tried it? <laughs> well, uh, ah, <laughs> suck his cock. Come on. Oh, oh, 
Raoul, suck Raoul's cock for your father. He's paid for it. Go on, suck some... I don't like... Just try it. Just suck a little bit of cock. Right. Just try... Oh, oh, oh. He's bloody playing with his cock. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> in your mouth. Oh, oh, oh. oh don't... Uh, come on, suck it, you bastard. Suck it. Right. Oh, it's not so bad, is it? Oh, oh, I... oh. I fucking love these. <laughs> Recently, I've been getting a lot of weed, and I know it's because of the way I've been eating. I've not been working. I've not been doing the things I used to do before. So, I'm a personal shopper. So it involves me going to the market every other day. You know, going to shop, walking around the market. So I know things that used to make me to stay fit because, of course, that involves a lot of walking about. So of late, I've not been able to do that. I've been sitting down in my house. I've been eating. Fat, but it's more than I used to do before, and it has made me to add weight. You guys must have even noticed I wasn't this fat like when I started doing reactions. Now I'm way fatter than I was. In fact, there are most of my clothes I've stopped wearing because I can't zip them. So, it, of course, people have been telling me, I, I mean, you're gaining weight, you're becoming fat. I know. So, why would I be offended? Because I'm telling the truth. I myself, I know it. So, why would I be offended that somebody's telling me the truth? But well, then again, do you guys always have to bring a sexuality into it like you know bringing in the gay thing subtly i don't like that part come on guys can we leave the gay where it is and you know do the joke comedy well I, I guess he's trying to make oh, okay because of the um okay i can no, i guess because of the statement that was made that being fat is just like being gay well that's just nobody's born being gay nobody's born that way guys you know how the mainstream, the mainstream strongly put something in the mind of people, and if you're not careful, you take it in and you think that is the way it should be. But guys, no, no, it's you are either a female or you are a male. That's how it works. You're either a female or you're a male. You know that thing? It's something that people are just picking up and making it a thing, and some people are buying into it. Yes. So yeah. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Of course, until I come here next time, guys. Take care of yourself. Be you. Be happy. Yeah, I know I keep saying be you, but be you in the recess of the being you. Not conforming. Don't conform. Don't conform. Yeah, so until I come here next time, take care of yourself. Bye.